Welcome to Tech Wizard with Damir. In this video, we are going to learn about row underscore come sum function. Uh, this function calculates the cumulative sum of a column in a serialized row set. That means that we can find uh, the running total. So let's go ahead and take a look how this uh, function works. Uh, so here I have table called total sale and I have inserted some data here. So let's go ahead and take a look on this data. So execute this query and here we have a uh, item sold and the sold price um, what i would like to do maybe i want to just uh, find uh, the running total for uh, item sold um, so see right there so we have these all different items sold uh, now uh, here is the query what we can do here we say total sale order by sold date ascending uh, so i'm uh, just uh, uh, putting the records in the ascending order so you can see right there uh, so then i will find uh, the running total now for this, finding the running total or a user the row uh, underscore come sum function you have to say uh, serialize uh, and then provide uh, any column name if you don't provide the column name is fine uh, it's going to just add that column as a column one uh. now but i want to give a proper name called the running total equal then use a row underscore come sum and then i would like to get the uh, running total of uh, item sold uh, let's go ahead and execute this query now it's going to return me all the records from this table with all the columns and the extra column that we just added here running total so you can see right there so 5 plus 2 7 then 3 make it 10 then plus 10 make it 20 and then keep going so this is our running total now there are a lot of columns i don't need that so we can use project here and then get the list of the columns that we need so i'm going to go ahead and execute this query again and uh, project is going to just uh, give us the uh, columns that we are asking uh. so here is the running total and the, these are the rest of the column i just mentioned uh, right here uh. so this is uh, uh, we just uh, drove this column uh, in the above uh, query right there and they're uh, getting uh, in the project as well okay so this is how you will use a uh, row come sum to find uh, the running total if you notice here uh, i have uh, multiple regions um, see here i have a uh, region north america then I have uh, Europe, then I have Asia. Now, if I would like to find running total for each of the region, that's possible. And I have to use a previous function. What the previous will do, it will, uh, once uh, there is a difference between these two, it will start over. So see right here, I said that the running total equal row come sum item sold. So I want to find the running total for item sold and where region not equal to previous region. So if it is a equal with the previous, it is going to keep adding the running total. And once it will be different from a previous, it's going to start over. And the same will happen right here. It will start over here as well. Let's go ahead and execute this query. And now we can see that it has a calculated running total for North America 5 plus 3, 8, plus 2, 10, and then it keep going until the North America ends here. Now, after 12, it did, it did start from a start. See right there, Henry, and number 10 right there. So this is for Europe. Now it is adding next one. So it is keep going adding to the 26. Once Asia start as this Asia is not equal to the same Europe, as this condition is true, so now it's going to start over and start over the running total for that specific region. So this is how you will use a row come sum to find a running total for a pretty much entire table. Or if you want to divide into some group, then you can use the previous function with it and it will calculate the running total according to the group. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in the next video.